Hmm. What's wrong, Mussy? You seem distracted. It's nothing, really. I'm just still worried about Buffy. Our talk seems to have gone well. Yes, she seemed a lot more uplifted. Does she need more positive reinforcement? I am ready to drop some ordinance loaded with good vibes. No, no, it's just... Well, I've known Buffy a long time. She holds back a lot. I invited her to hang out with us more, but she said she needed to be alone for a while. Well, maybe she just needs some space. I've just got a bad feeling is all. Buffy spent so long in isolation. I'm afraid if she runs back to that, she'll put up her walls again and we won't be able to reach her. I guess I can see why you'd be concerned. Should we go see her? I'd be down to stretch my wings. No. If we all show up, it might be overwhelming. Buffy needs someone she can relate to. Someone who also struggled with adversity, preferably in the Navy. So, an American naval fighter who also suffered a lot of issues but overcame them in the end. Yes, I just can't think of- Wait, I know one. You do? Okay, it's gonna sound ridiculous at first, but just hear me out on this. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm wasting your time. I know I've been talking in circles. Not at all. Talking is what I'm here for. But tell me, what do you want to get out of this conversation? I don't know. I guess I just want to be able to embrace my flaws like you did. I see. I see. And, I mean, people like you for your issues. Why can't I be like that? Well, there's a few things to understand about me, Buffy. You must recognize just how poorly I was designed. I was so bad, in fact, that I was sent to the School of Tank Technology as a lesson of how not to build a tank. Oh, wow. I didn't know it was that bad. I am objectively terrible, without question. I couldn't even be driven without the driver becoming exhausted within a few minutes. We'd be here all day if I listed all my defects. And that doesn't bother you, Val? At first? Yes. I felt just horrible. I was depressed and miserable. But over time, I realized it was my flaws that made me special. I helped people learn and build better for the future. Over time, I became appreciated for my issues and was fortunate enough to wind up in a museum. So what? I should embrace my issues? No, honestly, I don't think you and I are comparable. Buffy, regardless of what people say, you are not a flawed design. What Zero told you is absolutely correct. It's still hard not to think otherwise. Yes, and it will be. But I think if you trust a bit more, you'll find those voices putting you down will start to fade. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to intrude. Corsair? No worries, Corsair. How can I help you? I actually wanted to talk with Buffy, if it wasn't too much trouble. Me? Why? A friend sent me to help. Look at that. Those you should trust are reaching out. I guess so. Remember what we discussed. If you need me, I'm always around. So, what do you want? Zero said you could use a friend with similar experiences. Is this her idea of a joke? People say I'm the worst fighter the U.S. Navy ever had. You're looked at as one of the best. How are we similar? You'd be surprised. Would I? My older sisters couldn't land on carriers, Buffy. What? Not even a little bit. They stalled on approach or bounced on landing. It was a mess. Then how did... They were given to the Marines, who used land bases. Only my younger siblings could handle carriers, and that took a long time. So, just like when I was sent to Finland? And all the extra naval equipment was stripped off of you. You were able to spread your wings and fly like you were meant to. I... I'm sorry, I never knew. I'm not ashamed, though. My family was lucky enough to be given a second chance. In our case, it was on the main front, so more people knew about it. And mine was in Finland. But they still loved you, Sky Pearl. I know. I'm just scared. Of being rejected again? Yeah. I can understand that. But I don't think you should worry about that anymore. People appreciate a good underdog story in the modern day. I think you'll find more and more will slowly start to love and appreciate you. Maybe someday, you'll be given that restoration I know you want so much. It sure would be nice. In the meantime, Zero and I thought it would make sense for you to spend time with a few fellow underdogs. Hey Buffy! Hope you're feeling okay, Little Peak, Comet. What are you doing here? The director said it was okay for you to be moved with us to the new showroom. It's a new exhibition designed to educate people about the unsung heroes of the war. He... he wants me in there? You're the main star, actually. I asked him myself. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just come with us and we'll show you how to love being yourself. Little P helped me a lot. Trust me, her positive attitude works wonders. Well, all right. I'll give it a shot. So how did it go? I think it went all right. It's a start, at least. Little P and Comet are really nice. I'm sure they'll all get along. We can only hope. 
Thanks for your help, Corsair. Of course, anytime. That was a really good thought, Zero. I just remembered how early Corsairs never took off from carriers. Figured if anyone could help Buffy, it would be her. You've been really kind to her. Part of her poor reception with people is my fault. I want to help her show she wasn't a bad plane. I'm proud of you, Zero. Same. You're such a softy deep down. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just move past the mushy stuff. Bloody hell, what's happened? I am so sorry. Pea Shooter dared Era Comet to vault off one of the displays and she crashed through your wall. I told you there wasn't enough room for me to turn. Maybe with that attitude, do it again. I believe in you. It's part of her rigorous confidence training. It's a bit dangerous, but we're having fun. Fun is a relative term. Zero, this was your idea. Don't start. I could not have predicted this outcome. 